Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. Hey, today we are going to go over the absolute best Overland kit from Overland Expo Mountain West. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Belt. So today I'm here with Josh from Lava Box and hey. Josh, what is this amazing creation you have behind me here? <laughs> amazing creation, I love it. So this is the lava box. It's actually, you guys can see it's an ammo can, standard uh, 50 cal ammo can. And this one is actually our cold roll steel. It starts off silver like this, and then it patinas to here. And of course, it contains a massive fire. This guy is 120,000 BTUs. So it's a big fire. You guys want me to show you real quick? Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it, let's do it. All right, check this out. It says, here we go. So I'm gonna try not to burn my tent down. <laughs> but uh <laughs> or the mic or the mic, or the, mic or, or the host <laughs> so so this guy we, we invented this because you know out here in the west we can't have a fire we realized that uh on our rig we had no space either you know we run the van we run the truck plus we do a lot of rafting and i said man what's the most ubiquitous thing that we use on the on the river and it's the ammo can because it's waterproof super tough I said, and then my buddy said, why don't you put a fire in it? This was years ago. And then this year they said, please, my friend, same friend was like, bring it to the market, man. This, people will love it. And uh, so we did. And this guy, uh, this guy right here, about 155 bucks, so the same price point as everything else out there. Um, and it's ultra tough, lasts forever. And this one actually has been patinaing for about six months. So I think it comes out looking really cool. Now, not everybody wants one that's you know, that does the rust and the patina. And we do a full treat coat on that one. So you can look over at the black one there, Kelly. That one actually, uh, we treat it with a high temp paint. But I want to show you one more thing on this. Yeah, check this out. So this is actually a ceramic weave and I want you to grab this. It feels like foam. Yeah. It, it feels like foam. It weighs nothing, but it lasts forever. It gets really nice and hot. So if you do want to cook with it, you throw those in there, you turn the fire down and you really get a nice ambient heat. You can cook on top of it. We did shish kebabs last night and it was fantastic. Uh, we actually have a grill piece coming out. I don't want to talk about it too much, but we're, our patent design is coming out. It fits underneath and it fits on top and it will fit on all ammo cans. So you'll see that as a big seller for everybody who uses ammo can fire. So. That's awesome. This yeah. thing is super putting out some BTUs. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm standing here going, my arm's a little bit on fire now, Josh. Oh, yeah. So this is really, really cool. So how long will, it's hooked up to a propane bottle now. Yep. How big is the bottle and how long will it run for? That's a great question. So uh, at about this burn, about four hours per pound. So, uh, and it'll burn on any bottle. You know, a lot of folks like the, uh, you know, for my rig, I like a five pounder. Uh, that's a nice medium size. It'll get you through a weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, if you burn it moderate, you're fine. If you burn it big, you're going to burn through some gas. Go big or go home. That's right, always. <laughs> so got a couple of different styles. You know, this, this is our, our tabletop volcano, our number one seller. We sold about 800 last month alone. Uh, so they are really, really popular. That guy back there, our big one, is our Krakatoa fire breather. That's the 20-person party. You're going to a meetup. You're going to, uh, you know, ice fishing with a bunch of friends. You're going to a big camping trip. That's the big guy. That's a 200,000 BTU burner. So it is a massive fire, six foot tall fire. Although this one's no slouch, four foot tall fire, right. uh, 120,000 BTUs. So it's big. That's awesome. <laughs> this thing is super, super cool. And I see a little little guy back there. What's that one all about? Uh, I'll tell you, it's an emergency candle we'll be coming out with. Uh, we're still working on the chemistry. Uh, my wife's an actual chemist. Uh, so we're building a, um, a really cool gelatin based emergency candle. You throw it in the rig and actually we're, we're doing a custom laser cut. We love to do, we do a lot of laser cut. We're doing a custom one. So if you want your logo, you want uh, your, you know, taco logo you want a jeep logo or you want your personal brand whatever it is or you want to do a, a corporate gift or gift for a friend we'll laser cut it and we'll co-brand so to speak on that box so you'll be able to give it to your friend give it to your dad as a gift so that is amazing this yeah. thing is really really cool and again what are the price points on you know the sure. small one the big one and absolutely so 155 right in the middle of all the other boxes 175 with the rocks because they are uh, tough to build but they're awesome they're totally worth it and then 185 for the coated so the high heat coating and then 330 for the big boy for the Krakatoa fiber either oh this thing is super cool you guys really got to check this thing out hey Josh thank you so much oh, man, I really Kelly, appreciate thank it you. yeah thank it's you awesome. yeah thank see you guys man. out on the road definitely I'm here with Chris from Garmin, and we have some really cool things uh, to show you. Um, initially, I thought was for um, just a side-by-side -side market, but 
Obviously not. So what do we got? Yeah, so we're uh, going to be doing the overview on the power switch today. It's a six digital, six channel digital switcher. It has a capacity of 100 amps, 12 volts going into it. Um, and you can hook it up to your Overlander device. And so you can actually customize each switch uh, to what you need, whether it's an air compressor or different lights. So here we have like the fog lights. Um, we have the light bar on top and all the different lights, and then also the Wii Boost on top. So you can power everything uh, directly from this power switch, and then once you're done using them, you can actually switch them all off from uh, the Overlander. You can also have an app on your phone, and so you can control it all that way. So essentially it's a six, uh, 12 volt, six digital uh, switcher, which you can place anywhere inside uh, the vehicle and route all of your electronics to it, and then control it wirelessly from the Overlander, from our tread unit, from your phone. Yeah, it's really cool. And the one thing I like about the Garmin now is that they're really becoming an all-in-one kind of thing. You can have the whole system in your vehicle. So you have the Overlander, which most people when it came out, oh, it's GPS, right. it has some downloads, there's a lot of benefits to it, but now it's becoming more. It's uh, taking all of uh, Garmin's uh, products that we're coming out with and tying them all together to help better that, that user that wants to have a, a sort of a seamless ecosystem inside their cab and so they don't have necessarily mix matching and, and you know difficulties pairing. So if you have Garmin products, you know that they're all gonna work together, they're all gonna work really well together and you have that support of Garmin if you ever do have issues, uh, work it, you can troubleshoot it with, with us. It kind of sounds like uh, um, Apple a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. And you know, um, really Garmin is taking that approach in these markets that haven't necessarily seen that approach before. Really it's been a one-off product for your communications, a one-off product for this. Really Garmin wants to tie all of that together. So that way, like I mentioned, you're having a seamless um, sort of a great experience inside your cab. And then it's also very clean and very user-friendly. All right. Very cool. Uh, any other things that uh, we should know about the system? You know, I think you mentioned it, like, and like we've been talking about the ecosystem, yeah, the power switch ties into all of your electronics that you want to tie into it. Then it goes to the Overlander. You can have your in-reach device, so your satellite communication device that a lot of folks know about tied into the Overlander. So really, this is kind of the do-it-all device, really your, let's say, base camp or your home base inside um, of your cab for doing everything. So it's really neat. Uh, Garmin is uh, really uh, putting a lot of effort into this market. And so, yeah, we've seen some great products come out so far. All right, so when can I plug my watch into it? Hopefully, <laughs> maybe in the future. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave that, that one an yeah, open door. Yeah, yep, yeah. because you never know. You're able to hook six up to it now. Correct. Can you expand it up? Yeah, so you can't expand off of that one to one uh, power switch, but you can buy more power switches, up to four different power switches. So uh, 24 uh, different electronics or 24 different channels you can have on one Overlander. So they can power up to four different um, or control up to four different power switches off of one overlander that is insane yep. I, I would actually hate to do the wiring on the vehicle right. that needed that exactly and we haven't <laughs> i haven't seen it yet but i believe someone is going to uh, be out there doing it <laughs> oh i'm sure i'm yep, sure there's absolutely. some crazy stuff out there um and let's talk uh price point real quick yep so uh 4.99 yep is the price point uh for the power switch okay and overlanders uh 6.99 6.99 yep okay all right awesome great well thank you very much i yeah, appreciate it thank you Hey guys, I'm here with Logan from Dow Dynamics, and Logan, you guys just launched a really cool new pod. Tell me all about it. So our newest pod is the C1. It's uh, obviously it's a little bit smaller than the C2 and the C and the SS3. Um, we kind of released it as a ditch light or a like a scene light. Uh, we have it in multiple different optics, just like our SS3s. We have it in the flood, the wide, the driving, and the SAE fog. So the SAE Fog uses our Max LED chip. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's way brighter than any single pod you're gonna find on the market right now. We have backlight options for them. We have a blue, red, amber, and white. So, you know, use them as DRLs, whatever you wanna use them as. A lot of guys are using the red for reverse, like using the, the white floodlight with the red as a like a parking light or a brake like a light? Like a chase light. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so I know that the the SS3 has four L, or four LEDs, right? Yeah. And then the SS2 has two. SS1, I'm assuming, I'm assuming has one LED yes, in there? Yes. So we use a one really high-powered LED chip. Basically, it's the same LED chips that we use in the C2s, but we kind of amp up the, the power a little bit to get a little bit more power out of that. So, like, say, a, a Pro C1 
is still a little bit more than half of a pro of a C2 as far as power output goes. We're just kind of amping up the power a little bit with these little guys, seeing what they can do. And uh, right now they're they're on pre-order, and uh, so they should be able to ship here in about two weeks, in uh, the beginning of September. And uh, yeah, these guys are pretty insanely bright. You guys should definitely check them out. Awesome. And where can we find you guys at? Uh, you guys can find us at quite a few shows coming up here. Uh, just check our website at diodynamics.com and uh, sign up for the newsletter on there if you want to and get all of our new promos. Okay. And what is this light uh, going to run retail? Uh, so retail, the sports are 120 and the pros are 180 for a pair. And then the SAE fogs are 240 for the pair, just based on how much brighter they are. Awesome. Yeah, these lights are super awesome. You guys all know that I recently did a full diode dynamic build out on my Tacoma and those lights rock. We were actually got caught in the dark up in one of the big passes of Hurricane Pass and these things were clutch getting us off the mountains. So, hey Logan, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks, Thanks for coming man. in. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm here with Micah with Up Top Overland. And Micah, I have seen this snorkel here behind me on all kinds of Instagram. First time seeing it in person, and you're the developer, right? I am. All right, Micah, so tell me all about this thing. Okay. This is a low profile rotary molded snorkel for the third generation Tacoma. Uh, it's got the same aspect features as our Alpha roof racks where you can color match the porthole and the bird cage at the top. It's a two piece design. It's able to anchor to a uh, third gen Tacoma with our roof rack, a Prinzu roof rack, or no roof rack at all. It is compatible with Gobi, Front Runner, Rhino Rack roof racks as well. It's not a proprietary product to our roof rack system. It's got tubing that goes through the fender that doesn't interrupt the addition of a battery location or air compressors, so everything runs through the fender with silicone jackets. It can shed about nine and a half gallons of water a minute through the built-in vent in the back and it has been the most difficult product we have ever produced in our <laughs> life, but we are here now with it and we're ready to go. Awesome, you know what? I would have to say that if it's difficult, it's 100% worth it, because this thing is really, really hot. I mean, I I'm sure I, I've seen Instagram, and I mean, people are just like, where can I get this thing at? It's awesome. We released it night before last on our website. You can also order it through our dealer, Running for Tacos. Both of those places have access to it. It's uh, in production currently, I'm not gonna, promised that it would be here in the next two weeks, but we should have our first production units in October. Awesome. And this plate right here, it can remove for easy cleaning, correct? Yeah, it's there so you can take it off. It actually aids in the installation of it. A lot of the products that we looked at when we were comparing what we wanted to do, it physically attached to the vehicle on a silicone elbow with a hose clamp. And this static mounts to the fender of the vehicle, so it is bolted in place. Any water that goes in, it's going to shed out through the top, but eventually it's going to catch dirt and rocks and bugs. You can pull the cover, which has a foam gasket adhered to the back of it when you get it. You can pull this off and you can open it. Additionally, we needed the ability to do that because every year we rewrap this vehicle and it let you do that and it would always go back into the exact same place. So it made it easy to take on and off. Which is perfect because I know a lot of people have snorkels and the biggest complaint is disassembly, reassembly, the, the mess with that. Right, and then the majority of them take up the whole fender and we kept this as low profile as we could. We kept it thinner than the rear view mirror. So if your truck physically fits, this physically fits. And if you're sitting in the driver's seat of this, it's unobstructed. You cannot see this from the driver's seat of the truck. And what is the price point for this? It's $9.99 and it includes the color match on the aluminum inserts is part of the deal. So you can select any of the, I think we have 14, 16 factory colors. You just pick that in the drop down menu and it's included with it. It comes with all of the drill bits, installation tools, templates, the whole nine yards, all you need personally is a cordless drill. Perfect. And where can people find you at? Uh, www.uptopoverland.com. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Hey guys, I'm here with Chris from Matador. And Chris, I've heard around Expo that you've got some really cool new products. What do you got? Yeah, so the first thing we're going to demo here is our um, soap bar case, which sounds insignificant, but it'll it'll kind of change your life. Um, it's been hard historically to travel with a soap bar because you have to put them in those hard cases. They leak, they get crushed, the hinges break, or you put them in a Ziploc and they turn to mush. You know, they don't dry. So we wanted to solve that. Um, this holds any standard soap bar. Uh, you roll three times and buckle. It's completely waterproof, sealed, but the soap can dry through the fabric. Um, so it doesn't turn to mush, there's no hinges to break, nothing hard plastic, it's small, shrinks and grows with the size of your soap bar. So it's kind of like the, the ultimate, the final solution to traveling with a soap bar. 
Um, so we're pretty thrilled to be presenting that here. Um, uh, that's something that I never thought I wanted, but now I want one. That's awesome. <laughs> it's one of those things. You, you, it's We've had probably 10 people stop by yesterday and say, I already have one of these and it's absolute black magic. It's changed my life, which I never thought anyone could say about a soap holder, <laughs> but <laughs> we're excited to hear it. Hey, sometimes it's those little things that really make you go, wow, that's awesome. It is, it is, I agree. And then we have some not so little things as well. Um, so this is the Seg 42. It's a complete redesign to the duffel backpack. Um, imagine if you had five packing cubes, you sewed them together into a log and you could access them all from the outside. And that's kind of what this is. So um, you have complete organization, but you also have instant access to all your gear. And then you can access behind those as well. So you can put big items in if you have things that are too big for the cubes. Um, you can also stow those away. And it, it just makes for really like the most versatile and organized duffel bag on the market. Um, completely new design, I think. Pretty much nobody's really seen this before, so yeah, pretty excited about this. This has been a big hit here with the uh, Overlanders as well. That's awesome. And what are the price points on both of these items? Um, you're at $12.99 for the little soap case, and then you are $1.99 for the Seg 42, the big travel luggage piece. All right, perfect. And where can people find you at? Uh, you can find us at matadorup.com. Um, also available at, at stores like REI, backcountry.com, Moose Jaw. Um, it's pretty much any outdoor retailer, travel retailer. Badass. Definitely go check them out. Thank you so much for your time, Chris. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. All right, guys. So that was the absolute best gear the Overland Expo Mountain West 2021 had to offer. There's some really, really cool, innovative stuff out there. Um, I'm sure that we missed something. Like, it's a big show, lots of vendors. Uh, it was the best that we could find. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. What was your best piece? Honestly, I really, really like the lava box. Like that was just a really cool piece of kit that you could do. Yeah. You could use that really anywhere. Yeah, I like it's so hard for me to pick which one's the best. For me, I really think it's the small things that matter. And the one thing that blew my mind the most. I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. Say it. The soap holder from Matador. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. That thing was rad, dude. I was like, because I love bar soap, and yep. it, like, like that's brilliant. Because right now he nailed it on the head. I have my soap in a Ziploc bag, and it's nasty. It's disgusting. Yeah. You don't even want to use that. Yeah, no, not it's a, terrible. It's probably gonna throw it away after this trip. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go back. My very, very favorite. Uh, item that I saw personally to myself is the up top overland snorkel. I think ah. the innovation parts of that, there's just, the problem is, is that we saw so much cool stuff at this yeah. expo. It's hard to pinpoint the best, but I take it back. That's my new favorite. And I'm allowed to do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, then I'm taking Lava Box. Oh. And Matador. I got I, two. I feel like we're playing, I got two I'm two. playing chess, he's playing checkers. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to give a huge shout out to Mako Venture Travel. Their uh, Tacoma camper right behind us here is amazing. They did a complete frame off on this and a full drive conversion, engine swap. Yeah. They have done every bolt, every nut, every hose has been changed, fixed, modified for this build right here. So big shout out to these guys. Go follow them on Instagram. It's yeah. pretty awesome. That, that is a very cool old school rig. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. It's adventurebuilt underscore. Also subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Hit that like button, hit the notifications bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.